welcome back to The Hive. Episode, episode four. four. Before we get started, big congratulations to some of our fellow Yellow Jackets. First, congratulations to Jacob Clevenger and Kendrick Curtis for both winning state in wrestling. And Kennedy Pendergrass scored his 1,000th career point, so big congrats to him. Him and Carter Durham both made the all-region team. Congratulations, guys. And a massive congratulations to the Fairview High School Youth and Government delegation. Katie Welker and Hannah Mignette got their bill passed uh, at the Youth and Government Conference, and I myself also got my bill passed, and I got nominated to go to the National Youth and Government Conference. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you guys remember way back when we had our first episode of The Hive, and we talked about signing day? Signing day. Have your senior yearbooks signed by your classmates. Signing day! Today has officially been revealed. That's right, it's May 13th. So if you got your yearbook, you'll be getting that signed on May 13th. And if you did not, uh, bring a piece of printer paper and get that signed for the summer. Facts. Also, March is music and our school month. AKA me awesome. We already knew that, we just talked about it. Well, thank you. But no, me awesome. Music in our schools month. M I O S M. Me awesome. Oh, I knew that. Well, in regards to Me Awesome, uh, we got to see some really awesome rehearsal footage from Miss White's orchestra preparing for their big Music at the Movies performance. I am in the Fairview High School Orchestra and I play the cello. Um, this spring, we are doing a concert. We're playing a couple classical pieces, such as a piece called Swan Lake. <laughs> We've been practicing these particular pieces since we got back from winter break, but most if not all of us have doing, been doing this since 6th or 7th grade. We do a lot of practice with instruments throughout the day, and that's sort of what the class is about. And we sit there preparing for these shows about three months in advance, and every day we sit there practicing these songs to make them sound the best they can. Our concert will be sometime this spring. It's based on entertainment through the ages, so we've got a couple of classical pieces that we're playing as well as some modern ones. Um, it's really good. You should come and check it out, and um, you're going to love it. Well, that is pretty awesome. I'll be sure to see that coming up in May. I am a big fan of some killer movie scores. I don't know how you keep score of a movie, but the music does seem great. Movie? move me do you want to know what moves me in the morning a like, good old cup of joe yeah but like who has time between classes like i wish there was somewhere you could go between classes that was more convenient well it seems that miss haley has already thought of that because her and her transition one kids run the buzz brew in the morning where you can get a good old cup of joe some hot chocolate whipped cream marshmallows and everything hmm, let's check it out get your coffee and get hot chocolate today Brady is helping us sell coffee. He's our sign holder. Um, and also between classes, we make coffee for teachers and deliver it to them. So when we have a little more time, he's able to follow this visual schedule um, where it has um, steps of making coffee and make it for our teachers and deliver it to them. I like to make coffee, not chocolate. And I like meeting new people through the coffee cart. It could help me to get a job after I graduate. There you go. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Brady and Michael. It looks fantastic. You know what else is looking fantastic? Check out what Miss Lopez and her class is doing with some shoeboxes. Yep, they are learning about environmental issues facing Spanish-speaking countries. And in order to illustrate that, they build dioramas. And in case you're wondering, a diorama is a Greek word that means through that the world is seen. Impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Let's cut to see what they're doing. Roll it. So, our Spanish 3 honors class and our AP class, um, AP Spanish Language and Culture class, is doing a project that um, illustrates the environmental concerns and um, how they are directly affecting Spanish-speaking countries. I did soil erosion in Colombia. The box kind of shows, like, how the, how the soil gets affected by uh, all the pesticides. The students um, have a task of illustrating the seriousness of these issues. Some of them are doing um, landslides, some of them are doing um, just air pollution, water pollution, um, and just overall issues that we see even in our country. My vision for this project is um, desertification in Cuba. And what I'm doing is I'm putting some of this 
stuff in the back to make it look like a desert. And I'm painting the outside blue. And the background is a piece of blue paper to look, make it look like the sky. The students, in addition to doing this uh, project, which you'll see some of them, are just kind of illustrating that seriousness in the country that they, uh, of their choice. So I'm doing deforestation in Ecuador, and uh, for the exterior part, I'm going to have the forest like looking normal, and then inside, I'm going to have it like all deforestized, I guess, and have new construction things in there and it running down. And Students will be writing um, about some of the possible solutions that they can um, introduce and kind of have for these uh, environmental concerns. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope we all can strive to be as passionate as Noelle is about dioramas. Oh, thank you. And let's remember to keep humming those movie tunes. And go check out Brady and Michael at the coffee cart. And remember to be, be nice. nice.